After thousands of renders, I have summed about 20 plus tips that can improve your workflow, renders, and save your time. You can add details to your normal texture map by adding a bump node in between. And add the texture you want in the height. While extruding your mesh, you always get this texture problem. To fix it, just enable correct face attribution. You can add droplets to your glass quickly by just using a droplet video and adding it into the height of the bump node. And add that into the normal of the glass and add it in the roughness. You can make fake god rays by just adding a cylinder and add an emission shader in the volume. And add a gradient node to control it more. I have added these in my starter pack so you can easily drag and drop it for free. Glass can be hard to render, but if you mix it with a transparent shader and add a light path node in the factor, the light will pass through the transparent shader but you can see the glass shader in the camera making it easier to render. You can add lens flare in the compositor by using a glare node as a mask. You can check it in the viewport by enabling this option. You can use my lens flare node that is easy to use and it is free in my starter pack. Blender gives free smoke and fire generators that you can use in real time for free. Just go to this website and click on this article. You can download this file and append it in your scene. These depth of field settings can create cool effects. Set the blades to 8, ratio to 2, and set the f-stops according to your shot. You can view it in the viewport by enabling this option. By just going into this file location and selecting it, you can enable it here to check it quickly. Blender Kit add-on is the best asset library for Blender which has thousands of assets, materials, files, and more, and it is free to use. You can install it like a regular add-on and drag it in your scene just like that. You can animate trees by just adding a simple deform modifier and animate these values with noise modifier. You can add imperfections by using these image textures into the roughness of the glass shader. Or you can just use my free glass shader pack to do it quickly. Ambient CG is the best place to get free high quality PBR textures. Simply just go to their website and download any you like. Blender gives a free geometry node setup that can create hair. Just select your object and add fur to it. I have made a detailed tutorial on it in this video. Images as planes is a powerful add-on which comes in Blender. Enable it in the preferences. You can get textures like these from the render crate for free. Add images plane and select the texture you downloaded. Blender gives a free add-on that can generate snow on any object. Simply enable it in Preferences and click on Generate. Add rotation keyframe to your camera and in the graph, editor add a noise modifier and play with the settings to get handheld camera effects. Add a lens distortion node in the compositor. Set the distortion to 0.01 .01 and dispersion to 0.02 and check the fit box. You can 
use a rock material and add a displacement modifier with subdivision surface. Scale the UV, make it look large, just drag water from my starter pack and add in sky HDRI or use my environment asset pack to get the lighting. You can get free fire, cloud and storm simulations from this website. Download any you like and import it in Blender. In the shading tab, add the flames attribute in the temperature and increase it to 7000 and you are done. It might be different for other simulations, so play with the settings. Now for a bonus tip, you can get all of these Megascans assets for free by just watching this video.